I have a short little window this morning. I want to do some work on getting this plow bracket cut off so we can get this truck out of here. So like I mentioned, one of the projects today is I want to get this, uh, the, the mount cut off the front of this truck. And then the neighbor can come and get the rest of this truck out of here. He's going to pull the rear end of this out. I think his father-in-law is going to come out and pull some parts off of this truck and then it'll find its way to the scrapyard. Trying to figure out the best way to do this. Um, I could probably go in with a sawzall, really a, a versatile tool. Um, I can't tell you how often I use one of those uh, demolition projects in the house, cutting metal, whatever the case is. But uh, we'll be working on some pretty tight quarters and it's probably not the most ideal tool for the job. I do have an impact gun, but I don't have a very big compressor. I only have an eight gallon one. It's nice because I can move that compressor around if I gotta drag it in the house, top off the pressure in our air tank for our uh, well or whatever. Um, it's very flexible for something like that, but the bad part is you can't really run a lot of the big power tools on something like this like you could on a big shop compressor. So at some point I'd like to get one of those, but just not there yet. So the impact that I have, I think can only do 220 foot pounds of torque. I, realistically, I don't think that's gonna break these bolts loose, uh, especially after spending many winters here in Minnesota with the salt that's put down these roads and everything rusting up. So I think our best option is probably gonna be to pull out the angle grinders today and uh, just cut these bolts off. So we're just gonna use some cutoff discs today to get this done. I bet you any money we've burned through quite a bit of these because we're cutting off grade eight bolts, really hardened steel. Um, one little quick tip when you're working with angle grinders, very, very functional tool, especially when it comes time to deal with metal or even woodwork, um, is making sure your discs have a higher RPM supported speed than what your angle grinder does. Uh, the, a lot of times have them stamped on here. I a lot of times just write mine right on the top so it's really easily visible. You can see this one's 12,000, this one here is 11.5, and then on your discs, you know, see a real nice thin, uh, just cut off disc here, and they'll have a max speed here. So this one here looks like it's 13.5. Uh, this brand here, 13.3. So these are all higher than what the angle grinder do, 13.3 on this one. So these should all be safe to use on these angle grinders, but I don't think a lot of guys pay attention to that, but it's a really important thing because these things are spinning at such a high speed, and if one of these comes apart and starts throwing chunks, this can really do some damage to you. From what I can tell, there's six total bolts. Two that go in the frame up here, one where the bumper goes. So a total of six, three on each side. I cannot see any other potential place this is bolted up. So what I think I'll do is I'll go grab my truck, a little chain, and we'll just give this thing a light tug and see if we can break it loose.
did end up finding two more bolts right out of the bumper. You can see the bottom bracket pop down, but I got to get this actual physical bumper and the rest of the upper part of this uh, broken loose. We're going to do one last little tug here and see if we can get her loose. Just when I started thinking I got this figured out here, I found an additional two more bolts. So this is bringing us to a total of 10 bolts that we gotta get removed. But you can see in there, you see how it's like swiveling in one spot. So I'm pretty convinced these are the last two. Fingers crossed here. Uh, the bad part is I'm gonna have to pull the bumper off just because they're sitting right behind there. It's really, there's, it'd be very hard even to get a wrench in there to try, you know, if I did a, like a breaker bar or something on there, try to break this loose. Um, so I'm gonna have to pull this bumper off. The good part is the bolts look pretty nice that are holding the bumper on. I guess it doesn't mean a whole lot, but we'll try pulling out my impact gun, see if it's got enough oomph to be able to break these loose. Otherwise, I might have to cut these bolts off as well. Right now, I'm using about a disc and a half on my four and a half inch grinder per bolt. So it's probably gonna cost me 10, 15 bucks here. Cause I'm just using some little cheapy uh, cutoff wheels about a buck 50 a piece or something. So. Um, Definitely a lot different than cutting through some mild steel. These things are, I mean, it's a hard steel and it's its eating up these discs. So hopefully we can get these off the impact gun. We'll see what happens. So there's two on each side, one here, one here, and there are two over there. So success, I did not think things were gonna happen today. I was running up against problems trying to get that bumper off. I don't know if you saw that one bolt, but I mean, it just ripped the whole threads off these things. Some of us have cross-threaded these when they put them in, or at least a couple of these. And I needed every little uh, uh, ounce of energy I could get out of that impact gun to get these things broke loose. I'd have to wait for the thing to fully charge up with my compressor, then hit it, and then every once in a while I would be able to break them loose and get those out. And uh, I didn't have any more four and a half inch cutoff disc, so I was getting a little worried here, and I knew I had a couple more bolts to cut. That angle grinder would not even fit in there to be able to cut these off, so I pulled out my four inch one, and I happened to have a couple cutoff wheels for that, and we got this done. So this is, uh, it feels really good to get this done because we got snow coming here, and I wanted to get this wrapped up. Now I can call the neighbor, he can get this thing dragged out of here. The one last little thing I do want to get done is I want to pull this hood off. I want to save it for skid logs. I want to try that out. I've seen that a couple different times. Helps you kind of get over bumps and, and stuff like that that your log might get hung up on. So um, I'll rip this thing off here real quick and uh, we'll, we'll call this a success. Mm -hmm. 